So one of the most important things that we can do to manage the psychology of failure behind um, what youth athletes um, deal with on a regular basis is uh, getting them to have confidence in making their full aggressive swings. That's one of the greatest predictors for success in higher level baseball and softball. So one of the ways that, um, that I do that at Ignite Baseball is we really try to do a good job of getting them to swing at things that are different than uh, baseballs and softballs, especially early on in their development. Now what you'll see here is I have a chair and I just kind of have like stuck a pool noodle through it. So it's kind of hanging out like at the bottom of where the strike zone would be. Now, usually like what would happen is I would be standing off to the left here. Okay. And uh, I would be just holding the noodle so I could put it wherever I wanted to in the strike zone. But um, in this case, I didn't have someone to accompany me. So I just kind of have it through the chair as an example. Um, but given the fact that this is not a baseball or a softball, when I swing through it, or more importantly, when a youth athlete swings through this, um, if they don't hit it right, they don't um, have a big negative psychological effect behind you know, how they hit it because the feel is gonna feel the same whether they hit it good or they hit it poorly. Um, with the pool noodle versus with a baseball, you'll know whether you hit it well or you didn't hit it well. And this just helps kids commit to doing their full swing. So this is a hugely important one for success. And if you have them work on this a lot, I actually find that it works better than T-work because T-work you can get so wrapped up in whether or not you hit the ball well. And when that happens, it you know stems in uh, much slower swings. And that's not something that we ever wanna encourage. We wanna get accuracy, but we wanna do it within speed um, because accuracy is great, but if it doesn't get us the ball out of the infield, at the high school level, then it doesn't really matter. So this is one way that you can um, get people to swing at things different than a ball. And here's another one. So what I have here is a heavy bag. Um, this one's a ground focused one that you could actually fill up with water, but um, you could really use a heavy bag that comes from hangs from the ceiling. You could use any type of heavy bag or even like a football blocking dummy, whatever. But if you were to zoom in here, you can't really see the numbers, but I'll just kind of draw on them too. So this one at the top is, I labeled it number one. This one's number two. If that would draw, that'd be great. This was number three and then four and then five. Sorry, this tool is not working that great for drawing and then six. So what you can do is just put pieces of tape on the blocking dummy or on the heavy bag or whatever and have the athlete stand next to it and then do their swing and try to hit the target as aggressively as they possibly can. And the good news, um, this one, other than, which is a little different than the way that the uh, pool noodle one works, is that this one gives you some impact. So it gives you some feedback of whether or not you were pow powerful at that position. Now, um, we wanna do both in tandem because hitters both wanna learn how to be strong at impact, but then also be able to finish their swing. So we don't wanna just do one and not do the other. We wanna do both um, and we wanna to try to barrel up at those specific locations. So not only can we work on the speed at which we're swinging and the power at impact, but we're also working on our accuracy. We wanna be as close to these spots as possible. Now, if a hitter swings and let's say that, let's say that I was aiming for number one right now and I hit number two, I'm immediately gonna be able to see that and I'm be like, oh, I missed under my target. So the next time I can swing higher and I don't get the negative feedback of, oh, I missed the ball. I'm a failure at baseball. I'm a failure um, at what I'm trying to accomplish here. So that way the athlete will continue to swing hard while they're making their accuracy adjustments. The biggest problem that I see is that when athletes are trying to make accuracy adjustments, they end up swinging really soft. So we want them to continue to swing hard while they're making their accuracy adjustment. And if we're able to do that, that's how we can create scalable baseball and softball players and that can compete at the next level. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, Kurt at IgniteBaseball.org, or you can visit my website, IgniteBaseball.org. Talk to you guys soon.